If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Alright, last but not least, the secret branch. Rocket Artillery is beyond doubt the best early game unit in the game. Cometarian Doctrine that can make them from day 1 instead of the other Doctrines day 2. They deal 3.5 damage versus unarmored units and they are ranged attack so they don't take any damage. This is so interesting. As everybody starts with unarmored units, if you have these babies early on and a lot of them you are unstoppable. So ranged attack, offensive, anti-unarmored. You get the picture by now, I guess. Rocket Artillery is an offensive unit that is most effective against unarmored targets and damaging province morale. It can bombard enemies from a safe distance without taking damage and should be placed behind other fighting units. Just like all artillery units, you need to protect them because they are weak in melee combat. But so 3.5 damage versus unarmored units. Also against light armor, they're very good. Perfect early game unit. If you play Comet Doctrine, you should always produce a lot of those. Uh, you only need a secret lab level 1. They don't come cheap because you need 1.2 uh, rare materials. So when you use those babies, don't build industry because you won't have the rare resources otherwise to produce these units. You can always build industry later on, right? With your spoils of war. They get a 50 terrain bonus in both hills and mountains, just like all other artillery units. And uh, yeah, they're amazing. They're perfect. I love them. Then, SP Rocket Artillery is even better. They are the faster version of the regular Rocket Artillery. They deal 6 damage versus unarmored units and 63 speed. Those are just fast killing machines. They are unbelievable. They're a dream for a Comet Turn player. Uh, ranged attack, offensive, anti-unarmored. Self-propelled rocket artillery is an offensive unit that is most effective against unarmored targets. It combines armor and speed with the ability to bombard enemies from a safe distance and is best used to travel alongside other motorized units. Indeed, because if you don't use them with motorized units, they're just gonna be slowed down. 6 versus unarmored, but 4.5 against large armor. Even against heavy armor, they can stand their own. Also, if you have a player who is dumb enough to keep his planes parked on the airfield, you can do some decent damage against those as well. But they are weak against air attack, so you might want to protect your SP rocket artillery with SP anti-air. But you do as you please, but <laughs> protect them, please. Costs, they're expensive. 1.7 thousands rare materials but you get a very good unit in return they get a 20 percent damage output in the planes but also 50 percent damage output in the hills if i'm playing comet turn i know what i'm making and then we've got the railroad gun axes they can unlock them on day four and have an increased range for all other doctrines it's day six they have an attack range of a hundred. They're crazy. They deal a lot of damage. 10 damage against heavy armored targets. They're very slow, only 29 speed, so be aware of that. Um, ranged attack, offensive. Railroad guns is an offensive unit that has the longest range of all units. It's best used to bombard troops and cities from far away dealing the most damage to heavy armored targets and buildings. To make use of its huge range you need other units as potters. The line of sight of armored cars is about the same as the attack range from railroad guns. So please just put an armored car in there, you're gonna thank me later. They deal 6.5 against unarmored targets, 7.5 against large armor, 9 against heavy armor and 10 against the buildings oh boy i love these babies if you pay axes please produce them 
um, but you need to protect them well they're very weak in melee battle so i would always say protect them minimally with 10 infantry 10 anti-air and if you have the resources put 10 anti-tank in there as well they don't get any terrain bonuses unfortunately you cannot upgrade them neither because that would be overpowered still they're very worth it then we have the flying bombs i'm going to be very short on this one they are the most unuseful unit in call of war i mean they're the most dumb unit of call of war uh, they're very fast they're versus buildings 12 hit points against the buildings they got a larger range anti-morale single use friendly fire so your allies they can be damaged by these units be aware of that flying bombs can be launched from an airstrip to destroy province morale while dealing moderate damage to buildings and units if you use these babies against units please only against static units because by the way you're gonna have impact those units they're gonna have force march out of there out of your deadly zone yeah they deal fair amount damage against units but they're trash they can be shot down by interceptors by the way so you might keep that in mind oh and once they're fired they cannot be controlled anymore and they destroy them on impact usually they're just a huge waste of resources if you want something like a flying bomb go for rockets man you can upgrade them they're amazing they're much better anyway the rockets deal 15 versus buildings they have a larger range than flying bombs they're faster than flying bombs anti-morale supersonic single use friendly fire they cannot get shot down by interceptors these are foolproof rockets can be launched from an airstrip but blah, blah blah they're all the same as uh, flying bombs except unlike flying bombs rockets cannot be shot down by anti-air before they impact they do more damage against units as well but please if you use those babies to attack units please static targets only because if they march they're gonna be out of your dead zone before impact rocket fighters i already covered and then you have the atomic bomb the atomic bomb isn't a unit you only need this to research atomic units and there are in call of war two nuclear units you've got the nuclear bomber also just like the flying bomb it's trash i'm gonna tell you why it's very simple 63 hit points all right you might have remembered what i said about air the defender always deals damage first so if you attack a large stack and there's anti-air in it most probably there's gonna be enough anti-air value to take out your nuclear bomber and it's gonna crash without dealing damage keep that in mind however they deal 1200 hit points bam if they can reach their target they are devastating but they're very easily taken out by anti-air value and by interceptors they are fast 522 but still it's very risky it's a uh, this is a classic high risk high reward unit aircraft single use friendly fire nuclear weapon they will deal damage in approximately a 50 kilometer radius which is uh, the same as the range of an artillery the nuclear bomber carries out a devastating nuclear strike which deals massive damage to all units buildings and province morale within a big blast radius the nuclear bomber can be shot down by anti-air before it strikes and there is its big achilles heel and this is the reason why i don't use it anyway they deal a ton of damage against unarmored 1200 hit points 800 against light armor 750 against heavy armor 500 against planes 750 against ships 200 against submarines 400 against buildings they are crazy if they reach their target that is and which is cool they ignore fortifications and enemy defense bonuses so uh they blast the shit out of units it's as simple as that 
But now comes the cherry on top. If you thought a nuclear bomber was amazing, check this out. Because this baby cannot get shot down by interceptors and they almost deal the double damage. 2200 attack, it is crazy. 1200 speed, 800 attack range, it is unbelievable. Hallelujah. If you are allies, oh boy. You can unlock them sooner than any produce them and then they can completely turn the tide of any match. You can be the underdog but if you have this you're gonna be the rooster in the chicken hen. Supersonic single use nuclear weapon fire friendly. A nuclear rocket can be launched from an airstrip to carry a nuclear bomb to its destination which deals massive damage to all units, buildings and province morale within the big blast radius. Hallelujah! 2200 damage against unarmored units, 1600 against light armor, 1600 against heavy armor, 1000 against airplanes, 1600 again against ships, 350 against submarines, 700 against buildings, oh boy, this is a must have for allies in the late game, can turn the tide, you always have these dumb players who have giant stacks, one nuclear rocket will easily resolve this problem for you. And that is it for all the units. And uh, to finish this video, I've given a little bit advice on how to stack the units together. However, right here below you have the link for a how to stack guide. It is uh, pretty straightforward, but check it out. You will thank me later. You're gonna increase your kill death ratio so much. Bye bye.